this Canadian Assessment of Physical Literacy training video, we will understand how to measure cardiovascular endurance using the PACER shuttle run. Equipment needed for the shuttle run, a tape measure, gym floor tape, a gym space 15 or 20 meters long, plus space for turning around at each end, a stereo with CD player, the fitness gram PACER CD, and 20 cones. If you do not have the PACER CD, check online for the audio for either the 15 meter or 20 meter test. Instructions on how to administer the test are provided in the CAPEL manual. The directions that should be read to the children are also provided. Setting up the shuttle run is very easy. Simply create two lines that are indicated with cones and tape on the floor. Be sure to have enough room side to side for the children to run without bumping into each other. There should also be at least 1.5 meters of space at each end of the shuttle run to allow children to cross the line and change direction. The lines should be 20 meters apart if there is sufficient space. In smaller areas, the lines can be 15 meters apart, plus the turning space. Be sure that the audio matches the distance between the lines. Proper form is easy to watch for in the shuttle run. Running across the distance between the lines, the child must have one foot across the line before the next sound on the audio. The first time a child fails to reach the line before the next beep, the child is instructed to immediately reverse direction and to run faster to reach the line before the next sound. The second time that the child fails to reach the line before the sound is the end of the test and the child is asked to stop. Pacing in the run is critical as the time between the beeps gets shorter as the run goes on. When the single beep sounds, it indicates a completed lap. When the triple beep sounds, it indicates an increase in speed. Children should treat the triple beep sound as a single beep and continue running. When one child is asked to stop, be sure that the remaining children do not stop running. Things to watch for during the pacer shuttle run. The CD player should be positioned on a hard surface to avoid bouncing of the CD player which may cause the CD to skip while children are running. Ensure children tie their shoes. If a child stops to tie their shoes during the test, their test is over. Ensure that the children stay in their lanes to avoid collisions or mixing up participants. Cool down. At the end of the test, make sure children walk around for one to five minutes to cool down. Recording the score of each child is the job of one examiner. The examiner must write down each child's number of laps when they fail to reach the line twice. Count the first lap not completed by the beep, but not the second. That's how to run the Pacer Shuttle Run. Watch our other Capel videos.